so let's get started demo first of uh, upgradation.net 9 in dotnet myu so here my application uh, which is hotel management system here you can see this is all that hotels along with that image and uh, it is coming from the data from firebase db so if i if user want to add so they can add a new user if user want to pick that uh, image so that also user can pick that image as well so there's all that functionality over here and user can add the hotels once you add the hotel user can that you know uh, if a uh, desktop application user can view that application uh, that particular hotel along with that image and the description and all so uh, yeah this is get populated and same things we can do in the mobile as well uh, like if i want to just create a new hotel so i can click over here i can pick that image over here i can save it and once you save it so i can back go back and i can just view it over here as well once i click this guy particular item so i can go to the details and go back to over here that many screens even we have the mechanism here user management system where i can manage that whatever that user which is the logged in and what the user has that particular role so those are things we can manage as well like we can user we can edit as well whatever the information we want to edit and delete as well and whatever the user roles which we want to just assign and you know de assign over there so that we can mechanism this is that complete application which already be a build using .NET myu along with the firebase db and firebase storage and now uh, we have just upgrade that uh, whatever the application we have to build in .NET 8 or .NET whatever that version lower version so we will migrate over here we migrate it actually already so that we will do in this session so let's get this started so before the start to implementation i am especially recommend if you first time visit my channel so go to my channel which is dotnet real world example and in here you can see this is that complete application which we have built in last time which is a six hours uh, session we have that complete build and a powerful hotel management system and user management system in this dotnet myu using that firebase authentication and firebase real-time db uh, over here and not only this dotnet myu we have that many other uh, example over here we have just cover you know that complete uh, blazer hybrid app as well which is uh, also built that in a hotel and user management system using a firebase so you can just go through that all other apps other other session as well to learn more about that so now uh, go to that our applications so this is that same example which i already covered in the last time so i will take the same example and let me open in visual studio so now i just open this uh, my application in visual studio and let me see if you just double click on that project folder so you are able to see i just previously we have just built this application in dotnet 8 right so how we can just migrate and what are the prerequisition what are we need actually to do okay so that we have to do over here and we'll learn it so first of all uh, you have to install your dotnet sdk uh, dotnet 9 sdk so that is the two way ideally you can just uh, you know go to your tools and manage your you know uh, get the tools the features and here the way you can just upgrade your uh, .NET 9 package over here which is available and second thing you can just directly uh, download okay so here you can see uh, this invisible component you can just upgrade your .NET 9 over here directly there is a one way another one is like you can just you now directly go to that uh, microsoft uh, sdk uh, link official link and you can directly install dot nine nine which is a release version available okay so now moving to conversion so moving to conversion what you need to do first actually there is a two way also this uh, converting or upgrading your dot net nine to whatever lower lower grade version okay so uh first way actually we will use which, which is a very simple way i will just simply change this dotnet 9 8 or whatever dotnet 6 7 8 whatever things we have to upgrade to 9 and whatever corresponding and uh, dependencies and all we will change it so this way we will use but yeah there's another way we can do in our upcoming session as well like we have that analyzer uh, .NET actually provide microsoft provide as an analyzer so using that analyzer we will uh, upgrade also that one so now uh, what i need to do simply 
whatever the place we have dot net 8 right so simply i can just control h and just place replace it to dot net 9 dot 0 that's it okay and not control entire solution i will just change this to this current project or current document as well yeah current documents and just replace all so once you replace now see i just change it to five place over here in this files and save it okay so i also tell you we are actually so first we have to change this place and then we have another place over here dot net 8 to dot net 9 that is one and then if you scroll down uh if anywhere else is dot net 8 so i don't think so we have but yeah that is a place i guess yeah and also this is that place which is a commented okay so these are five places we have to change first okay once you change over here what you need to do just scroll up down so these are all the setting we need to keep it same there's a no many changes okay and one more additionally uh you know tag or what it additionally configuration we have to add for dot net 9 which is newly added of dot net 9 so that is actually uh uh the deployment so using that deployment they dot net 9 release version they allow to okay so windows package type windows package type by default is none but if you want to change so something you can change it you can just follow that documentation actually so for more details about that window package type so but yeah this is that new things we have to need to add up here for the dot net 9 as well and then few more uh a supported targeted framework which is supported in ios mac mac list android windows so those also we have to change it so for dot net 9 so default target framework of ios which is not 11 which is uh, 15 so we need to change it to 11 to 15 this is one changes then mac os also we have to change it to this 15 i'll tell you uh, where you can get this information easily and then android it is fine uh, because this is also supported uh, 21 and then rest of other place which need to keep it same because these are as a default setting of the .NET 9 we can keep it for those platforms so that is done and if you scroll down one more thing actually see previously we use whatever that package right so based on that dot uh, net 8 whatever the package we have to use but those if we required it is not supported we also will change it okay so now uh, as of now just leave it as of now but i will change it so what i can do just close that whatever that application is open and let me close it and build it now see i am getting one issue uh, this is use community mind toolkit must change to this guy okay this is that uh, not a big problem but yeah as of now we using a uh, no uh, uh, community community toolkit so they actually refer to we have to use it but yeah it is up to you if you want to keep it or not so that but yeah i'll show you if you are getting same issue how we can resolve it so simply if you need to go to that my dot program cs file and actually it is complaining over here right so what you can do simply uh, dot use uh, toolkit okay and then just simply assign to over here and now build it now i can see build is succeed that means there is a no error while upgrading and dot net 8 to dot net 9 and also we can check it over here now see it is converting also dot net 9 like previously whatever that dot net 8 so now it's got change it right and also i want to check that new get package so if any new get package required for dot net 9 so also we will check it so over here see whatever that dot net 9 i already installed so these are that install version so yeah dot net 9 is fine uh if any lower version so we can change it also community toolkit it is a 8 preview so that also we can change it to 822 yeah that is also fine there's a no need to change and firebase admin also it is fine and what else yeah these are also yeah so this is the debug so debug right now uh, we are using 8 right so that we have to change it because we we need to use that 9 so i as of now there is a no error but yeah uh it is good to go to upgrade with that uh dot and night as well so let me moving to other package as well 
this is also done and this guy okay so this is we are using a pre-release version but yeah we will use that dot nine so i'll refer this guy dot nine right and then update now check other package as well go down yeah this is done this is also done and this is the compatibility also be using this guy but yeah instead of this pre-release so we'll use the release package and uh, there is an option actually multiple uh multiple package we can select it and we can use it but yeah as of now uh yeah these are packages actually we are not referring because this is not install package right but yeah this is install this is also yeah we can just install this guy also that's it okay that's also done now see any other package are required no that is fine so these are package so we have to go through all that package okay and um, corresponding whatever the latest package we have to just uh we have to use it okay so this also is that i link task but yeah i think it is just a pre-release package so we have to keep it uh as it same and also we can check it this update package if there is any updation is required yeah see now updation is like you know uh, 90.2911 that is fine but as of now we are converting to nine so this is looks good okay so once it looks good now let me try to one more time rebuild this solution so yeah rebuild also succeed so there is a no error so now uh, we'll check we'll run this application and see all that you know feature is working as expected so let me run first in our you know android applications let me run without debugging point so that i can run both application like android application as well as the window application together now finally it's deployed my android application and it's running and now i if i just click sign in so it should be sign in with the admin user so let me try to sign in with the admin user and it's loading that means my application is perfectly uh, working fine right and same things i will check for that window application as well so let me change it to that uh, android to window application and run it to without uh, debugging mode so once i run for windows machine with desktop application now see i'm getting some error right so this is just important actually to understand what is the issue so while upgrading your dot and so it is explaining like what is, you need to deploy first then you have to uh, debug right so also you can see this is something like it is saying okay for windows and it is need to be uh, regenerated or turning on and we will fix this error and a file not found and something else right so actually what i found in this case so actually we add some uh, new uh, configuration for dotnet 9 migration right so which is that window package type which is i set it none but before deployment for this guy like you know for window package we have to set some configuration so that's why it's explaining so as of now what i can do uh, for the demonstration perspective because for deployment you know real package and all so definitely you have to check that how we can config this you know window package type and then how we can you know set those things right so as of now just leave it as a commented as of now but yeah uh, real time once you try to deploy your app in our windows and android definitely you have to set configuration over here right so now i just keep it to uh commented and then i just try to run it now deployed succeed over here and also my application got running over here and i see and asking to that sign in so already i just mentioned my username and password sign in and once you sign in it should be logged in right so now see i'm logged in and also i'm getting the data from that firebase db right so that means my application got my application is working fine as expected so what i will do i'll just check that complete app how actually working like for example i will just try to add a new hotels or or we can just try to update a particular one or yeah i think it is good to go to try to all that feature so let me try new hotel like for example uh dot net or dot net 9 upgradation hotel right so something like that and then description also like for example one two three four five and five out of five and then also i want to pick some pictures over here so i'll just pick this guy and once you pick and save it 
once you save it, it should be a uh, create a new hotels yeah now i getting that saved successfully okay and if you scroll down i will see this latest uh, latest hotel over here same thing i can check it over here so let me just refresh so once you refresh so same hotel should be appearing over here and now let me try to delete so let me try to add it first okay so let me try to edit something for one two three and just change to this picture to some other picture for example this guy and open it and save it so once you save it it should be update and once you update you have to get that updated record over here same things you can just refresh over here you will see that updated record as well over here right so then mean that means edit also working fine so let me try to delete right click on that and try to delete and if i okay it should be delete and now refresh now see this got deleted right that new record got to be deleted same things we can drive over here as well let me refresh and once i refresh okay let me try to delete for mobile side as well android application as well so for example let me try to delete this one and once you okay it should be delete now see it is deleted same thing if i refresh so that also should be delete over here right so now uh that means it's working fine for both application android and application and also we can check like user management system as well like see was over here also these are the two things only like for example this user has permission only user so let me try to add it and just add some more uh, you know uh, roles over this particular users and save it so once i save it save successfully and now i'm able to see this two user uh, two user role for this guy that means that user management system also working perfectly and if i just sign out so it should be sign out as well yeah it's sign out same thing if i try to sign out from mobile it should be sign out now see so that means it's perfectly working fine after my migration so those are a step actually you have to do for manual migration for dotnet 9 which is a uh, release version is available so that's all for this session thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share